Hi everyone, this is Vinaydu, MSc Physics. Today our topic is divergence of vector field. The divergence of vector field at any point is defined as the amount of flux per unit volume diverging from that point. It can be represented by dy a bar. It is equal to surface integral a bar dot ds bar by dv. Here surface integral a bar dot ds bar represents flux. Flux is nothing but the number of field lines cross the area normally. Here dv represents unit value. Flux per unit value shows divergence of vector field. The dal bar dot a bar can be expressed as do a x by do x plus do a y by do y plus do a z by do z. The divergence of vector field is a scalar quantity that's why it has only magnitude, no direction. Let us see derivation. Let us consider a vector field. The field lines passing along x axis, y axis and z axis. Now consider a point in this field. To understand the divergence at that particular point, around this we consider a elementary volume dv. Now suppose our field lines passing through x axis means normal to the yz surface. Field lines entering, here field lines leaving, nothing but flux entering and flux leaving. At that particular point O, how much flux will be diverged per unit volume, so divergence of vector field. Let us see this diagram. Let us consider a elementary rectangular parallelopipe of volume dx dy dz. Here A bar represents fluid velocity at point O. Ax, Ay, Az are the velocity components of fluid along x axis, y axis, z axis. Now, our fluid flow from O to positive x axis side or negative x axis side. Then, the velocity component changes with respect to x, that is, do a x by do x. Our fluid go from positive y axis or negative y axis from point O. Then the velocity of fluid along y axis is do a y by do y. The fluid flow from O to positive z axis side or negative z axis side then the rate of change of velocity component along z axis is do a z by do z clear now we consider a two surfaces pq rs having center m and ef gh having center m our aim is what is the x component of a bar at point m and x component of a bar at point n. We go from O to m. The velocity of x component increases. We go to O to n. The velocity of x component decreases. Because let us take one example. Here water flow is there in this direction now we go from in this direction our velocity increases in second case we go from opposite to water flow our velocity gradually decreases like this here also what is our aim find the s component of a bar at point m and at point n let us see the value of x component of a bar at the center of phase pqrs is equal to the value of x component of a bar at center plus increase magnitude from o to m from o to m we go from o to m velocity increases that's why increase in magnitude from o to m at center what is our velocity ax increase nothing but positive and we go from o to m 
velocity component changes the change in velocity component with respect to axis is do x by do x and how much distance it will be travel the distance between n to m is dx so n to o is dx by 2 and o to m is dx by 2 so for how much distance it will be travel dx by 2 distance therefore the, the x component of a bar at point m is ax plus do x by do x into dx by 2. Clear? And another one. What is the x component of a bar at point n? Now, the value of the x component of a bar at the center of phase efgh equal to the value of x component of a bar at the center plus decrease in magnitude from o to n why here decrease we grow from opposite to field that's why decrease at center what is our x component velocity ax decreases minus and we go from o to n therefore change in velocity with respect to x axis do x by do x how much distance it will be travel dx by 2 distance therefore finally at point n the x component of a bar is ax minus do x by do x into dx by 2 what is the area of pqrs dy dz what is the area of efgh dy dz what is the area vector of pqrs area vector nothing but ds bar equal to dy dz into i cap what is area vector of efgh ds bar equal to dy dz into minus i cap this is positive x axis direction this is negative x axis direction clear here flux entering here flux at point n flux entering at point m flux leaving what is the flux leaving the phase phase p q r s is flux is nothing but or dot d s bar that equal to a d s cos theta here theta zero we get a into d s what is the x component of a bar at point m what is the x component ax plus do x by do x into dx by 2 what is the area what is the area of pqrs dy dz therefore we get ax plus do x by do x into dx by 2 into dy dz similarly here flux entering what is the x component here at point n ax minus do x by do x into dx by 2 and area what is the area dy dz therefore the net flux diverging in x direction is this minus this one here leaving is positive entering is negative we get finally do x by do x into dx dy dz here simply here minus ax dy dz we get common here plus ax minus ax cancel do x by do x dx by 2 minus of minus plus do x by do x into dx by dx by 2 dx by 2 we get dx finally the net flux leaving the x direction is do x by do x into dx dy dz Similarly, the net flux leaving in y direction do ay by do y into dx dy dz. The net flux leaving in z direction do az by do z into dx dy dz. Therefore, the total flux diverging from the rectangular parallel pipe flux is nothing but surface integral a bar dot ds bar is equal to in x direction flux y direction net flux plus z direction net flux finally we get do a x by do x plus do a y by do y plus do a z by do z common dx dy dz dx dy dz represents volume of rectangular parallel pipe 
therefore surface integral a bar dot ds bar by dx dy dz is equal to this one and this is the expression for del bar dot a bar finally we get del bar dot a bar equal to surface integral a bar dot ds bar by dv here dx dy dz are the volume of a rectangular parabola the volume of rectangular parabola is dx dy dz let us say dv what we get finally the divergence of vector field is equal to the amount of flux per unit value that shows divergence of vector field clear thank you thank you all